Good day to you guys. My name is Anton and we are back to English. Today we'll be able to define the biggest world institutions, identify the institutions Ukraine is a member of, and evaluate some programs provided for the youth. How can you make a good first impression at any international meeting? You start with a firm handshake. A good handshake is a quality of a good leader. Donald Trump is a well-known master of awkward handshakes. Do they show him as a cooperative person or as a superior? I guess when it comes to international relations, cooperation is a key. Guys, have you seen these English abbreviations? Seems like there are too many letters but all of these are short names for some of the biggest world institutions. Let's decode them. The UN stands for the United Nations. The EU is the European Union. The COE is short for the Council of Europe. The WTO means the World Trade Organization. NATO is short for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. UNICEF is the United Nations Children's Fund. The OSCE is the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. UNESCO stands for the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Now a quiz for you. Which of these organizations is Ukraine a member of? Pause for a minute to think and then check yourself. Ukraine is a member of the United Nations, the Council of Europe, the OSCE, the World Trade Organization, UNICEF, as well as UNESCO. We aren't a part of the European Union and NATO. So we participate in most of them. Some steps to achieve integration with the European Union have been made, but it will still take quite a lot of time for us to become a member. Unlike the EU, Ukraine was one of the co-founders of the UN. This is an intergovernmental organization that helps to maintain international peace and security. The Council of Europe deals with human rights, democracy and supports the rule of law in Europe. The OSCE is the world's largest regional security organization. After the beginning of war in eastern Ukraine, a special mission was established to monitor the area of conflict. UNICEF protects children's rights and helps children in need. A lot of celebrities become the goodwill ambassadors for UNICEF and in such a way draw more attention to issues. For instance, Orlando Bloom visited eastern Ukraine in 2016. What sense of responsibility would you have and what would you want to do to help? UNICEF, time and time again, supports these children. I would encourage people to go on their site to, to, to make a donation, but also just to have the education, to have an understanding of it. I think it's so important that we all um, take ourselves out of the bubbles that we often live in. Here is a task for you with this vocabulary. Pause the video read the sentences and complete them with one word. Let's check your answers. 1. The EU is short for the European Union. 2. The Council of Europe deals with the issues of human rights. 3. The NATO is an intergovernmental military alliance which was established in Washington in 1949. 4. The UNESCO draws attention to the issues of cultural history, education, press freedom and others. 5. The government of each country should maintain friendly international relations with other countries. Well done! How can a young person like you learn more about international relations and even participate in international cooperation? There are programs and projects provided by various institutions. 
we talked with two young adults who have already chosen the programs they would like to participate in. Hello, Miroslava. So, what program are you taking part in? This year I'm going to join the European Youth Parliament, or the EYP. How did you find out about it? Oh, I learned about the organization from my teacher of international relations. Tell me about the program. It's an educational program established by the Council of Europe that brings together young people from across Europe to debate the issues of our time. They want young people to become open-minded, tolerant and active citizens. And what's in it for you? After visiting EYP sessions, I will develop my skills at leadership, problem-solving, cooperation and public speaking. What is more, I am going to meet a lot of young people who share my views on cooperation. After the program, I'll be ready to take a more active role in my own society. I'm very excited to travel to visit the trainings. Thanks for sharing. We have one more young man who's going to join another program. Let's hear from him. Sergey, hello. Hey there. And what program have you chosen? It's called the Young European Ambassadors. How did you learn about it? I've heard of it from one of my friends who actually participated in it and had great feedback. That's great! What kind of program is it? The Young European Ambassadors, the YEA's initiative, is a youth European network established for connecting active young people in Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Georgia, the Republic of Moldova and Ukraine. Wow! A lot of countries! Yes, it started as a part of another project by the European Union, but now it's a separate program. What will you get from this experience? If you register, you become an ambassador who will promote youth cooperation in the communities and discuss European Union matters with other peers. They organize regular expert meetings and other events. I'm really interested in European integration of Ukraine and in such a way, I can do something for it. Amazing! Thanks! Now, let's check how attentive you are. Here are five questions. Read them, then go back, listen to the conversation once again and try to hear the answers to these questions. Let's check them together. 1. Who established the European Youth Parliament? It was established by the Council of Europe. 2. Which skills will Miroslava develop after participating in the EYP? She will develop her leadership, problem-solving, cooperation and public speaking skills. 3. How did Serhi find out about the Young European Ambassadors? He heard of it from his friend who participated in it. 4. Which institution started the Young European Ambassadors? The European Union started it. 5. What do you do after becoming an ambassador? After becoming an ambassador, you will promote youth cooperation and discuss the European Union matters. Great job! And what about you? What program would you choose? Why did you decide so? Have a good one! See ya!